moment. And Cheong on the right in blue. Lightest of the weight categories, under 48 kilos. And it's Cheong who gets going first with that low left-sided Marate Seonagi effort. We saw her throw with that and score really well early on, but that was just a little dusting of the cobwebs. Uh, slightly more serious there. Left leg thrown out there. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt that uh, she may have been looking at Seo Toshi. It never really shaped up there, but we we'll call it that. In the absence of anything else <laughs> that we can identify, left-sided Seo Toshi effort. Pareto thought about the Koei. She, she was pulling her opponent in that way, but the right leg that she normally sticks in there, that didn't, uh, that didn't materialize. Koji Gaki actually is what uh, Pareto likes to bring off. There's no sweep the, uh, the of the leg, there is a hook. And she normally um, operates that with the Seonagi top and then in one direction to uh, get the reaction and then the Koji Gaki taking her opponent to the rear. Yeah, I mean, Koji Gaki, Koji Gaki, that's a classic setup uh, off of Seonagi. That's a bread and butter setup, if you will. You can see Jung had some nice attacks in the against Parento, so I'd be curious to see how this match uh, works out. Then we are already halfway through this match. We've seen some good attacks from both sides. That was a good striding attack there by uh, by Jong. You can see here what working that coach Shigake there. A couple big stridings there for Jong. Thing is, is that she's getting in these attacks. I think she's looking strategically to try to make Pareto look passive, and she does it. So she gets ahead. Penalties. But Jung is doing a good, good uh, job of getting inside her opponent's heads here. That was a better attack by Pareto. Sharp attack by Jell. Yeah, she just loses her grip. There's something about the pace of Jell. I think she, she she breaks the other person's tempo or they just seem out of sync, the last few opponents we've seen. That's to Jiang's credit. Just to let you know that Asami Haruna has won her semifinal. It'll be Asami to face the winner of this contest in the final. Asami defeating Natalia Brigida of Brazil with Koji Gari for Rosari and then Yoko Shiogatami to finish. Surprise, surprise. Meantime, Pareto has picked up a positive score here. You know, it's Jung with less than a minute uh, behind the eight ball.
like how busy Preta looks on the ground here. She's not just burning time. She is she's keeping this aggression going. And she did this earlier in one of her earlier matches where she was up by, I think, a Waza Adi and a Yuko and still kept grinding. Pareto only had the one option there because Jong had trapped the leg. So that option where, where one, the, the right leg was across to um, help with the Jujigatami, the left leg was trapped. So she couldn't pull that back and sit down and uh, force an Asakami, which then normally results in freeing up the arm and you can put the arm lock on. That wasn't, that wasn't there for her. She could only go for the arm and um, Jong was able to fight that off. Which, what she couldn't do was to come up with a score and it's Pareto who for the second year in a row finds herself in a world championship final. So she gets another shot at it. The only difficulty for her is she's gonna find Asami waiting in the final. And Asami's already won two. My money is on three. And there's also that hunger because the last time Asami made a final, she lost out by that Juju Katame and I'm sure that sits in her memory. Y you know, with, you see if Asami makes makes it three she moves from you know a good japanese performer to, to almost legend status with three yeah because then then you're, you're you're on the brink of a fourth and if she gets the olympic place then you know olympic gold medal so you know you do three world championships and an olympic gold medal you know you move into a different category doesn't matter which country you're from you know but three and you know an olympic gold that could